also known as scrapbooking mamma. Uh, I'd like to share with you today a project that I did with Tsunami Rose Designs. I'm one of their team members, design team members, and uh, I used a kit called the Rose Noteworthy Digital Paper Pack. So I want to show you the mini album that I made with it. So let me move this aside and bring out my album. Now, the album in itself is a four by six. It's four inches this way and six this way. I used black chipboard uh, that was already cut to size and all I had to do for this part of it, for the front and the back, was to uh, cover those. But I did cut out the, the back, the binding, the hinge part, and let's see, this one's the hinge part, and then the side are two and a half inches by six. So I, w I wanted a little flap here. This one's just a little bit smaller. It's, it's like two inches in width. So I used all the papers. I covered the piece here, the lap flap here, the sides, the front and the back, all with that digital paper pack. And then I took a rose trim here and put on top. I put a rose there from Wild or Orchid Crafts and a little piece from the uh, paper pack here to you know give it a little design there but i'll show you that in a moment uh, i put a black applique fan applique i got from kp creations right here because i to me it just seemed like that that's the kind of style it needed it gave it a little bit of a, a class to it to have a black lady fan on it so i've got my little portrait right here of a lady this and this and this little piece in here all came in that paper pack and then I added a little label here and I may or may not write on it I may just leave it blank uh, then on this side I added another applique from the same place KP creation and added a charm here and I got a little some bottles that I got at Hobby Lobby that I uh, took and added sequins into glued the lid shut and then this, the screw right here, see if you can see that, there's a screw right in there, and you're going to hear a dog barking, someone's knocking at the door, but I screwed that little limp piece into it so it could hang, and I also put glue on that so it would stay put. And then on the back, I have a mounting piece on it, a journal piece on there, or a journal add-on, I should say, but of the clock, and I thought it was real pretty. Now let me open this up and try to go as quickly as I can so I won't bore you. Let me open this up. I just open the flap like this. Another digital piece here. Have lace trim over here, lace trim over here. I put a pocket over here and a little, couple little pieces of journaling cards that you can put the date on there, what the album is about. Uh, the back side is blank. You can add to that or you can put uh, pictures into it. And then I put a little magnet in here so it would stay closed. And then uh, I have six, let's see, five pockets. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five sheets of the hinges in here. Uh, by the way, I used the, uh, the hidden hinge system. And you can find different videos on that. Uh, I added, pop, made each one into a pocket. And each one's going to have a journaling card into it. Uh, this one first, and I matted the same clock piece that's on the back. I put it here. I just shrunk it to size and opened it up. I have a little heart here and a place where you can put pictures on it if you want to. And then uh, inside, I have a journaling card. You can put pictures on the back of it. So each of the pockets has some kind of a journaling card onto it. You just close it. I have a magnet in here. I love the sound of the magnet. You know it's going to stay then. And then a mat here. Uh, another pocket with another tag. Let me just show you quickly the, t the uh, tag. That's a different piece. So you're going to... I wanted to give it some variety. But yeah, I wanted to make uh, each one you know, have the same type of uh, piece to it. Like... The, all the ones with the flip like this have the same journaling card inside it. I love this paper right here. 
it looks almost like chalk paper and then this one so each of those have the same journaling card into it I may have turned it a different direction but it's the same one then after this I have the library card looking pieces here a pocket here all the pockets that are in this album are from the kid there's nothing additional that I put in there all of it is from the kid so each each one has so many places that you can put pictures into if you want to and then back here I have a little booklet that you can journal into and put a couple of wallet size pictures in here and in the back you can add more information if you want to or just leave it blank but I specifically made sure that this was on the front so it would have like a little booklet cover to it so and then there of course there's more there's uh, more paper I put more lace trim inside I've got my pocket to put this into so I don't lose it and then I have this little lady right here not sure if you can see her very well or not but anyway she came in there too into the paper pack anyway this has got lots of pieces to it I was you know I was very very happy with the way it turned out uh, and that paper is just gorgeous paper so anyway thank you for stopping by I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you would like more information on this uh, album, just let me know. Uh, you can private message me if you want to. And I thank you for watching, and you have a great day.